what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts here back with another reaction as always man um so first let me get this out of the way um episode 21 that i'm about to watch now um i didn't know that i didn't watch this episode okay so just keep in context i mean i know that these these episodes have basically been episodic so i don't know what's going to happen here but i've already watched episode 22 that episode is going to drop um at the same time as episode as this one that i'm about to record now so just keep in mind i've already watched episode 22 it was a great episode um with um showing the backstory of negan so just keep that in mind i don't think it's going to affect I just didn't realize because um, where I was. So I've already watched episode 22, recorded that episode. I thought it was the episode that came after the last one I watched. So there's a lot of things that I'm going to say in, in during that review and stuff like that. That's just not going to be related to this episode because I didn't see this episode yet. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I know that this episode is also very Daryl and Carol centric also. So, um... As I said, I don't think these episodes that we're watching here, they're very episodic. They're not continuing the story or really sh showing you anything that's like, you know, um, that's so with, you know, too within the timeline where, you know, it's something that I'm going to miss. I don't think so, because I think all of these episodes are really extra episodes, just kind of fleshing out some characters a little bit more. And um, so yeah so we're gonna watch this episode um so yeah other than that i just want you guys to know that as you can see i'm doing these um these episodes are, are being done on my new pc everything seems so fluid everything is working right i have some more research to do to see um because i am planning to do something um special also I'm going to start putting these reactions and whatever reactions that I'm doing, I'm planning to start editing my reaction. The reason, with, reason being why that is going to change and I'll be able to upload, you know, shorter videos, you know, cut up reactions on YouTube is because this PC that I got is a, it's a beast. And one of the most tedious things that I had to deal with back you know, when I had my, the, the other computer, the one that I was using all this time was that it just editing was a headache because the program that I was using just didn't, it just didn't work on the PC very well. And it was, a, it just couldn't handle the program. And as you know, as technology gets better, the software gets better. So it takes up a lot more data. You get what I'm saying to manage those to manage those software, um, not data, better hardware. It takes better hard hardware to handle that software. So I don't have that issue anymore. This computer is an absolute beast of a computer. It works well. It is super fast. You know what I'm saying? I know it could be faster, so don't come at me about that. <laughs> okay. Um, I think there's a very special balance that I got with this computer. Um, and, and, you know, that goes into having, a, you know, a, a strength in also computer knowledge from way back when, uh, as I told you guys, I used to build computers also. So I kind of had an idea. I looked up the stats of the 3060 Ti and I said, this looks like a good balance instead of me going for a 3070 or a 3080 or a 3090. Um, so I was like, this seems like a good balance that will be able to manage what I'm trying to do because I didn't buy this PC to play games. Even though I can play games on it, it's not the purpose of why I bought it. So the purpose of me buying this PC is for me to be able to do things a lot faster, um, including rendering out videos faster, which I've tested it already on, you know, rendering out 20 to 30 minute videos. It takes literally three to four minutes. Like it's night and day compared to the last PC I had. It is night and day. What I'm talking about, I used to wait at least, I wanna say probably about 15 to 20 minutes for my videos to render out, depend at that, you know what I'm saying, at that side. I'm on this computer, I am rendering out 1080p, 60 frames per second videos in three to four minutes. I'm talking about 20 to 30 minute videos 
at three to four minutes. I'm talking about fully with video on screen with me reacting and everything. Three to four minutes. It's night and day. And so now I can actually sit down, edit faster because the program is running faster now. There's no itches. I don't have to wait on anything to happen in the program that I'm using. And it just makes, you know, time just seems like I'm getting a lot of stuff done faster. So I don't have to sit at a computer waiting and waiting and waiting. It just makes life a lot more easier because I do pretty much like 90% of my work on a computer. You know what I'm saying? So I have to have something, you know, and I, I saved up and I bought it and it was worth it nonetheless. Now, who's to say something is not going to happen down the line? I'm not jinxing anything or anything like that, but it is a machine and machines break down. So um, let we'll just see how long it's going to go before, you know, parts start giving out and stuff like that. But I heard that these PCs, they last very long. So I'm not looking for I'm not talking about like six months down the line. I'm going to have to start replacing parts. I'm talking about like maybe five years from now <laughs> before I start replacing anything. I'm going to add to it, of course, because it's not fully decked out. I am going to add some memory and stuff like that to the PC. But all in all, just letting you guys know. So come season 11, I will start posting cut up versions of of what the Walking Dead on YouTube. Um, we're probably not going to have um, full screen anymore. Um, so I can do this because when I do full screen, it's hard. It's, it's, it's just harder that way. So I'm pretty sure you guys are not going to mind if I switch to another format of not having full screen for TV shows anymore. So we'll see how that works out. I am, I have come up with a solution that I think will work and not get my videos, um, blocked on YouTube, but we'll see how how it works okay i'm probably going to have subtitles very small amount of audio on those videos because um i think it works when you turn the audio you know down and we'll just do some subtitles for the tv show you know some people like that i know you guys have gotten used to the full reactions that is not going away i'll still be putting up full reactions for you guys to see but at the same time you know, for the want people who don't want to leave YouTube to go watch my reactions, they just want a condensed version of what I'm doing. They can do that also. So I'm providing options. I'm providing options. So other than that, what I want you guys to consider also, what I want you guys to consider is consider joining up for the membership on the channel, of course, and help support your boy. Because I got to um, not only I have to pay for the space that I put in these full reactions into and you know everybody that's already signed up that is being taken care of but still need more support <laughs> so I'm a shameless beggar at this point <laughs> so in any case um, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always don't forget to like the video before you go on right reaction I know this was a long intro but I had to say what I had to say anyways thank you guys so much I appreciate y'all I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was episode 21 of The Walking Dead, <laughs> the season 10. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, you already know. This episode was... Not what I expected it to be, to be honest. You know, showing more of the... How things are affecting Carol and also the relationship between her and Daryl. Um, and I have to say... Um, I want to say this. Because I don't believe... I don't think there was any more episode after the Negan episode, right? I don't think there were any more after that. I'm going to have to check. But, in any case... Um, these were, they were good episodes. They weren't great episodes, except for the Negan one. I think the Negan one was done very well. I think these episodes, these extra episodes that they're doing is in a way, some, in a way, in my opinion, completely in a way unnecessary. Like they weren't needed. All of this could be done during, you know, say, you know, season 11, when you're going to have a bunch of, 
you know, to start out the season where you're going to have to show some of these relationships and stuff like that. And doing that at the end of season 10 and tacking this on just because of, for whatever reason, what you're going to tackle in season 11, they wanted to just get out some of this stuff because maybe it was film and just never got to get in because of, for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's, why they decided to do these extra episodes. I don't know, but for sure, for sure, when I look, when, when I see these episodes, I think the Negan one was the best one out of all of them. But at the same time, I think some of the stuff like the, the, the princess centric episode, like that episode, you know what I'm saying? It was nice to know about her trauma and all of that stuff. But at the same time, you know, and get to know, you know, what the stormtroopers was about situation was going on. Like, all that stuff was good, but they were, for the most part, unnecessary. I think a lot of this stuff, tackling the relationship, I think the the one that showed what happened when Daryl was, was looking for Rick, also unnecessary. That's just my opinion. You may have loved it, don't get me wrong, but the whole introducing, you know, this character, I think maybe she's going to come back for season 11 and that's why they were trying to probably introduce her into the story at that point or maybe she's gonna come back at, at some point during season 11 we don't know right because if i remember correctly she didn't die so um you know this person that daryl found you know and you know they hit it off or whatever and, and then the 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 tension with the friendship with him and carol i think all that stuff could be included it could be condensed into very little amount of time to take a whole 40 minutes to show, you know, Carol chasing a rat and all this other stuff. Mind you still enjoyed the episode. I'm just, I'm just saying in, in the strength of the story going forward, it was unnecessary. You get what I'm saying? This was just extra fluff. You know what I'm saying? It was, it, it was unnecessary. You know what I mean? Um, I think that the episode with Gabriel and Aaron was really cool too. Um, but again, unnecessary. You get what I'm saying? Like they were enjoyable episodes. And I think the only one that was necessary was the Negan episode because we really didn't know what happened to Negan and what he went through to get the way he was. So that was good to know. You get what I'm saying? So if, if I'm talking about continuity in the sense of, the story itself, I would say that was the only necessary episode that we needed, and that was the Negan episode, right? So, if you guys don't know, because I explained it in the intro, you're just here for the review, I've already watched the Negan episode. That's going to drop after this one, but just keep in mind, I watched that first because I didn't remember where I was because it's been a while since I watched the, the last episode, the princess episode. So I didn't know that I was skipping an episode because I didn't check. And that's on me. But I'm letting you know up front that I watched the Negan episode first. So you're going to hear me say, you know, last episode was the princess episode <laughs> and all of this other stuff. So it might get a little confusing there in the review because I'm not going to rewatch the episode to make it seem like, oh, you know, I watched it after this one. But as I said, still, even though we got the the the, the um the Gabriel and Aaron episode, the Princess episode, the Darling the Daryl and the Stranger episode, and now we have a Daryl and Carol episode, then we had the Negan episode. I think the Negan episode is the only one that was absolutely necessary for the story for the continuity of the story. All the others could have been done not as even a one off episode. They could have jumbled all of that into one episode for all I care, you know what I'm saying? They could have jumbled all of that into like a one hour episode and put all of that stuff for all the other episodes into one episode. Most of it was completely unnecessary, long drawn out scenes for no reason. We just literally watched Carol chasing a rat. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I understand, I understand what they were going for in this episode, but it was as I said, not that it was not enjoyable to watch, but it was completely unnecessary for the story. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But in any case, um, hopefully they can mend the relationship between 
Cal and Daryl. I think maybe something dramatic. I think maybe if um, what's her name came back. Don't remember her name <laughs> because it's been so long since we've seen her. Um, I think if she comes back, I think that might mend the relationship between them. I think, I think that's one of the things that's really keeping them apart because in some ways maybe Daryl is is resenting Carol for what happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't like seeing them like that. As I said before, I don't like seeing them like that. But it, but it's okay. You know, I think they're gonna figure out a way. You know, to mend their relationship somehow, because they're very distant right now. Yes, they have conversation. They don't hate each other, but you know, it, it's just kind of tragic to see them like that because we've come to know and love them as, you know like best friends in the show so it's like to see them like that it is very heartbreaking you know what i mean um because you know daryl wanted carol to stay and then you know carol left you know what i'm saying and then she you know she just come back out of the blue i understand how she feels too you know what i'm saying like i do understand how she feels about everything she feels like she's not wanted because she basically in some ways cause the entire situation that's why she let negan out to go in and solve it she's trying to solve everything on her own you know what i'm saying and people don't hate her for you, you know what i'm saying like there's no hate but she feels you know what i'm saying that she did this wrong and she's trying to correct it and the problem is she don't have to be trying to 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 um to affect it in that way you know what i'm saying like try to fix everything in her way she doesn't have to do that and that's the thing where jerry came in and jerry is trying to tell her you know what i'm saying you know are you okay what's you know what's going on because she's obviously not okay you know what i'm saying she's in here punching out drywall and stuff like that like people who are doing stuff like that out of anger you are not okay <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You are not okay. But in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I said my piece. I said what I had to say. You guys can leave your comments in the in in the comment section. As always, you always do. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Subscribe if new. Can't wait for season eleven. It's your boy Terry by Reacts, and I'm out.